Welcome to Things Space Intelligence, IoT Analytics Engine. Since IoT devices are not routinely monitored by a human, rogue behavior can cause headaches for IoT account owners, such as changes in data usage, unplanned outages, malfunctioning devices, and security risks. The ThingSpace Intelligence Bundle offers a suite of analytical and management tools that make IoT easier to manage. These include an interactive dashboard experience for data usage and connection insights, as well as network and device status monitoring to rule out connection issues. With the ThingSpace Intelligence Bundle, you will also get access to the core ThingSpace services, including SIM Secure, Software Management, Location Services, and Advanced Diagnostics. If you would like to view those ThingSpace services you are currently subscribed to from the ThingSpace Manage dashboard, click on Subscription to the left. Here, you can view a list of those ThingSpace services available on your profile. To access analytics from the ThingSpace Manage homepage, click on Analytics Dashboard at the top left. Once in the Analytics Engine, you can select specific pages that will give you insights based on those topics. The default, as you can see here, is device data usage. To view other topics, click on the down arrow next to the name. Make your selection here to view different pages, including devices overview and provisioning. If you are subscribed to other ThingSpace services, you can also select them here. You can use the filtering options to drill down and see specific information under your profile. When I click on account name, I can see all of the accounts under the current profile. I can then select any of the existing accounts to only see analytics for that specific account. I can then click on service plan to see only those specific plans under this profile. Once I select a specific service plan, the analytics information will show specific to the plan. Please note, when you use filtering, the options you've selected will update on all widgets on the analytics dashboard. In the daily usage trend window, you can select and view between daily and aggregate usage. Adjust the slider at the bottom to select a specific date range. You can also view weekly usage. For every widget on the dashboard, you can download an image or document. Here, I will be downloading a PDF file. ThingSpace gives you the option to download a PDF file for all of the widgets. At the top right of the dashboard, click on the right arrow. Then select Export a PDF. Here, you can choose your formatting options, then click to export. The user also has the ability to drill down and obtain more data insight for a specific device. Click to select your device. You will now see that all of the widgets are specific to the selected device. Now, let's go to the Devices Overview page. Here, you can see all of the accounts on your ThingSpace profile. You will also see the total number of devices on each account, how many are active and deactive, device distribution by rate plan, and device group. And lastly, the device type, make, and model. ThingSpace Analytics also provides you with provisioning insight. Select provisioning from the drop-down list. 
you will be presented with two widgets. The first, Provisioning Summary. Here you can see the total number of devices on your ThingSpace profile that are activated or deactivated, for example. Just below is Provisioning History. Here you can see the same transactions based on a timeline. You can also make changes to the timeline to reflect a specific date range. ThingSpace now offers software management options in Analytics. After selecting software management from the dropdown, the first option is device level firmware status. You can utilize the filter by selecting your account number. You will be provided with a chart showing all devices under the selected account that have gone through the software update process. Up to date will show a percentage of devices whose firmware is current. Out of date will show a percentage of devices whose firmware is not current. Unknown will show a percentage of devices that have not bootstrapped to the software management photo server. The next two options are campaign specific. Campaign device status distribution will allow a user to track a device's status throughout a campaign. You are provided with several filters at the top, date range, and a campaign name. Here, I have selected two campaign names. I have also selected a date range. Hover over a date to get the device update status for your selection. We can see that on October 5th, 52% of the upgrades are in a pending status, 8% are scheduled, and 40% of the upgrades were successful. If we move down to October 6th, we can now see that only 5% of the upgrades are still pending, 14% have been scheduled, and now we are showing 81% of the total upgrades successful. And finally, on October 7th, 11% of the upgrades have failed. However, 89% of the total upgrades are successful. The final option, Campaign Device Status Summary, is a combination of the first two. The following chart is related to the last day of the previous Campaign Device Status Distribution chart. 89% of upgrades successful, and only 11% of upgrades fail.